Uh, uh, Rose, well, she's a dynamo, you know. She's my uh, my partner. She's, she's the, she just tackles everything. She's like a hound dog. She grabs hold of it and she won't let it go until it's, the job's done, you know. She collapsed before she stops. Uh, so, no, no, she's been great. She knows how to handle people. She enthuses people. Uh, uh, couldn't have done it without her. And uh, I mean, uh, Tristan, he's coming and going because he's, he's, you know, he's had to go to school. He's had to, now he's in the Air Force. Uh, he hasn't got as much time with us as, he, as, as, as we'd like him to have. But he's finished uh, with the Air Force shortly. He's only six years. So he may be joining us again once we get into the big survey. Um, definitely a big asset. He's techo savvy and uh, that's something we need uh, all the time. Uh, and uh, he's fun. He's got, got a quick mind. You know, he, he grasps things quickly. Uh, then, and and uh, Phil has just recently joined us. He hasn't been with us all that long, but he's proven to be a great asset too. We're working well together, and I think we've, uh, you know, with the, uh, the the wreck hunting and the salvage of the Viscount Melbourne, it's taught us a lot. We've been able to keep all our equipment and the ship in, in, in high readiness. It's been an exercise in learning to use our equipment efficiently, learning to work together, keeping the ship in a good shape and ready to go. That's what it's all about, and we've had some fun, you know. No, good team. I got no problems with them at all. They might have a problem with me, but I <laughs> I'm a bastard to work with, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, I get a bit edgy when you know things aren't working well, and uh, when we're out there day after day, I get a bit tired. I only have snatches of sleep. You know? When you're surveying, you're going up and down like a, a farmer ploughing a field. You've got tight lines, and you have to be. You have to be right on the line, otherwise you can wipe the whole line as, as a waste of time. It can be 10 hours or 12 hours on one line, and if you drift off, you, you've missed it. You've got to redo the whole line. So we do blocks. You know? we, we work out, here's, this is where the river ran 12,000 years ago. We mark out a block over it. We, we, we run lines on that, and then away we go, and that could take a month. You get really tired and, and you lose co focus, concentration. Somebody does a blooper, makes it even worse. Okay, there's a bit of a, yeah, you know, a bit of a hot temper display and uh, no, 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 it's all done. It's all passes, it's nothing, minor things. But uh, you know, ultimately I bear the responsibility. You know? There is a bit of weight in this. It's not as it's all fun, it's not just fun. It's a serious. It's a serious quest we have. We know that we know what's involved. This could be a turning point in history. You know, we could be making history. It's got to be taken seriously.